We were the social impact winners for San Francisco. And the problem we're working on is food stamps. So these are the actual food stamps right here. And one of the problems with food stamps is that they don't work online. So these are actual paper coupons that people are still using in the US. And there's a lot of people that are on food stamps in the US. There's actually 22% of the population. It's about 54 million US citizens that are on food stamps. And their food stamps don't work online. So it's a huge problem. It's also a pretty big market. So there's $128 billion on food stamps. One of the problems is that they don't work online. That's clear. But then there's also the problem for the merchant. The merchant can't accept online payments. Right? Then there's also another problem for the government where they have to control all the fraud that's going through the system. Right? So you have three different stakeholders and we're trying to figure, build a solution that'll help them. Right? And that's why we chose to build on EOS because it helps us build a product that we can scale out quickly to the users on the transaction side and then it'll help us basically build a system that can be verified not just by the merchant, not just by the user, or they can be audited by the government. So we built something. We built a mobile app that lets the user take their food stamps, take a picture of their food stamps, and then it converts it into a, a virtual card. And then using the virtual card, they can transact with the merchant, all using the existing systems that are already in place. So the merchant doesn't have to adopt crypto or adopt any other type of payment system. They can, as long as they can accept a virtual card uh, payments, right? They can, they can accept food stamps now. So Kai's gonna give a quick demo on, on actually how it works. So, oh, before that, before that, look, the market, it's really huge. And the thing, it, it's, it's people like me, it's people like you, and... I, I can tell you from my personal experience that when I was on food stamps 10 years ago, getting access to healthy food was really difficult because they couldn't afford transportation. So think about the 54 million in the United States that you have women with children, you have a, a disabled community, an elderly community, and it's just inconvenient for them to get to the store. And it's 2019, it's like, don't you think it's time to use technology and upgrade the system to the digital world? It's so, this is what we built. So the user will, order like they do online, and they're already very familiar with ordering online. But on the blockchain, we're actually recording a very detailed uh, shopping list that, that, like this is William's shopping list, it can track everything that he buys and how much and from where. And this is now going to demonstrate uh, my shopping list uh, and my transaction onto the blockchain. And so this data is so valuable because it's gonna raise the bar on regulation compliance and also it leads to better health options. So and we're tracking all of that. So there's a real problem here. It's a real problem for real people. So what we did is we got a team together. We got Kai, we got Candida in the background. In LA, we have also more developers, blockchain developers that are passionate to work on this project. So we're, we're building a real business here. This is definitely something that has a social impact angle, but there's also business models built in. So there's a transaction-based model in the beginning where the user can pay a transaction fee. There's a blended model where the merchant can start paying transactions. And then eventually, it, it just makes good business sense for the government to adopt this technology so that they can not have to worry about fraud and spend over $33 million on fraud each year. Last point, this is not just for the US. So around the planet, there's a lot of people that get social services and that need access to food. There's about 1.6 billion people that have a mobile phone, but then they can't, they don't have any financial infrastructure. And then there's about $33 trillion spent on food stamps around the planet. So we're here, we're here to grow and I just wanted to reemphasize the team and you know, how we're gonna push this forward.